Hello friends, most welcome to eCivil Tech. Today we are going to learn about the fasteners, specifically bolts. This video is going to be very important for site engineers, design engineers, contractors, tender and purchase department etc. Actually I was working on our upcoming video called design of bolt connection for telecommunication towers. But before that, I decided to make a video where I can put some light on basics about the structural bolts that everybody should know. So let's begin the video. Let's check out the content that we are going to learn in this video. Introduction Here we will learn about the important parts of the bolts and their function. Type of bolts Here we will learn about the type of bolts and how they are used. Grade of bolts Grade defines the strength of the bolt. We will learn how to read the grade of bolt and how to check the strength of bolt using the grade. Bolt value Shearing and bearing strength as per IS 800-2007 Tension capacity of bolt as per IS 800-2007 We will check out the formulas to calculate the bolt value and the tension capacity in this part of the video. Deep calculation of this part and explanation of this part will be covered in the next video of this series. We will display IS codes for the bolts on the screen so that you can note down and you can use it for the future references. Introduction So this is the bolt and the bolt is basically made of head, shank and the thread. You can find a bolt without the head, without the shank, but you can never find the bolt without the threaded shank. Okay, so thread is the very important part of the bolt. This is the nut. The main function of the nut is to connect the parts with the mating bolts. Here I am using matting word because the thread of the nut and the thread of the bolt should match. Then only you can tie the nut into the bolt. This is a washer. Main function of the washer is to distribute the pressure. When we connect two parts by using nut and bolt, the nut and bolt will exert pressure on the connecting parts. So as to distribute this pressure, the washers are being used. Another important function of the washer is to prevent the loosening of the nut. Special types of washers are used and this special type of washers are called as spring washer. When we tie the nut, what happens when some structure vibrates? Like if you are talking about the transmission tower or telecommunication tower, Due to the wind, it constantly vibrates. Due to the vibration, these nuts tend to loosen. To prevent the loosening of the nut, this special type of spring washer are used. This spring washer will exert some extra pressure on the nut and that will prevent the loosening of the nut. Now let's check out some of the important parameters of the bolt. This length just below the head of the bolt to the tip of this bolt is called as nominal length. This is the length of the bolt. This length from just below the head of shank to the threaded part is called as shank length and this part is called as threaded length. This is the nominal diameter of the bolt. Let us assume the diameter of this bolt is 16 mm and total length is 80 mm and the grade of bolt is 10.9. Okay, Then how we will represent this on the drawing? We will put M for the diameter, then the bolt will be M16. When I, when I am saying M16, that means diameter of the bolt is 16 mm. Multiply by 80. 80 will show you the length in mm and then dash 10.9 grade of the bolt. So this way we will show on the drawing. Like M16 multiply by 80 dash 10.9 grade of the bolt. Similarly, if our bolt diameter is 24 mm and its total length is 150 mm, and its grade is 6.8 then we will represent it like this m24 into 150 dash 6.8 grade 